So the year is almost ending and I believe that many of us had so many different resolutions at the beginning of this year to probably buy that dream house or save for that dream or buy that land. But hey, we only have two months left to end the year. So how far with that resolution that you made? But hey, it's never too late to save for the dream that you always wanted. You know, the most important step is the first step. We just have to make a decision to learn how to save so that we can reach that financial freedom and achieve our dream. So I'm here to bring you the top eight money saving tips that are going to help us to save some money and save for that dream that you always wanted. So hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Dr. Viola Kutesa. I am a medical doctor by profession. So I'm here to bring you the top eight money saving tips that are going to help us to increase our savings and finances. So tip number one, always save before you spend. I repeat, always save before you spend. So there are many times that I've really gotten money and um, the next thing you know, you're like, let me try to clear all my spendings, my needs, my wants, and later I'll save the balance. And by the time you know you have no money left, you have nothing to put into that savings account. So let's endeavor to always first put off the share for saving. And then you can always spend the rest of the money that you're left with. By that, at the end of the day, you're going to have your savings increasing day by day. So that's tip number one. So tip number two is to have um, more than one bank account. So one account should be for your daily spendings, your daily needs, or your emergency fund. And then at least the second account should be for your long-term goals. So the second account is for the money that you cannot easily access, no matter how the problem is. Because you have a long-term goal and a long-term target that you are saving for. Then the first account is for your daily needs. In case you have an emergency, this is an account that you can easily run to. So what I decided is that my second bank account shouldn't actually have an ATM card because, you know, ATMs are so tempting. You can easily use that card and remove money. But if you don't have one, then you're going to be determined not to pull out that money so that you really reach your dreams. So that is the second goal. So tip number three, always have a budget. Having a budget is very, very crucial. It doesn't matter whether you're making a million shillings or 10 million or 500 shillings. It doesn't matter. As long as you do not have a budget for that money, you'll never save any coin of money. You know, there are many times I've gone to supermarkets and, you know, you're just going to buy something. But then you end up buying things that you didn't plan for because you didn't have a budget and you're tempted to buy this and that. At the end of the day, you're spending money that you could have saved up into your account for something. So always have a budget before you plan to spend anything. Then tip number four, always try as much as possible to use cash, not credit, when you're paying for something. You know, whenever you use cash to pay for something, you always attach importance to whatever you're buying. But when you're using credit, you know, it's very easy to spend money unnecessarily when you're using credit. It's very easy. Probably you're transferring from your bank account, maybe to your mobile money, or you're paying for something online. You know, it's very easy to transfer. Transfer this to that, to that, to that. It, you know, you don't feel the pain of that money. And trust me, there are charges that are incurred. Every time you buy something online, you're charged something, trust me. So you're going to end up losing sums of money by using a credit card. So when you pay for that something directly using cash. So try as much as possible to always use cash than credit. Then tip number five, um, always live within your means. I mean, live a life that you can afford for now as you're planning for a better tomorrow. For example, you're getting um, maybe a salary of one million shillings. And then you're renting a house of 500 shillings. I mean, it doesn't add up, you know. 
you can actually get a cheaper house a good house but cheaper and spend the rest of the money into your savings in that way you're going to get a better tomorrow than when you spend most of the money into renting it could use some of that money for something else so try as much as possible to live a life that you can afford and live within your means then tip number six reduce on your entertainment spendings things like going out to a cinemax to watch a movie eating out every now and then i'm not saying that these things are bad they are good but they should be on a budget i mean if you're going out every weekend to spend money this is something that you can sometimes do indoors if you're going out with friends you can plan and you do some of the things indoors at home and in that way you're saving some of the money that you could have spent you can decide to watch a movie on netflix at home with people that you love and in the long run you're going to save sums of money that you could have spent outside there then tip number seven try as much as possible to avoid debt so unless you really need to get that loan or there is a deal that you literally can't miss then try as much as possible to avoid debt because debts are going to stop you from saving for example every month you're going to be thinking of that debt that you haven't yet cleared and every money that you're going to get is going to be spent into paying those debts so try as much as possible unless you really need to get that loan don't go for debts use what you have um then tip number eight and this is our last tip always apply the 30 day rule every time you want to buy something like whenever you want to buy something always take 30 days to think about it this is going to help you separate your needs from your wants if you think about that something for a period of 30 days by the end of it, you will be able to know whether you really need to buy that something or you don't. For example, you need to buy a new shirt. But then you realize you have plenty of shirts in your wardrobe that you're actually not putting on. So by the end of the 30 days, you'll be able to know that do I really need this shirt or I really don't need it. So guys, um, this marks the end of our session. Um, I'm very humbled. Um, thanks a lot for watching. Um, Please don't forget to subscribe to this channel and also hit the notification button so that you don't miss out on any of these amazing and interesting videos. Be blessed.